Glory to Jesus. Amen. Yesterday we're looking at overcoming being a decision. We have to choose to overcome. And there's something we said in the recording. We said we as children of God, we as children of God, we want to defeat a full-time devil while we're doing the word of God as part-time. We're studying the word or praying as a part-time duty. There's a statement that was made that the enemy is doing what he was created to do. We would like to correct that. The original intention when God created the devil, he was not created as the devil. So we actually intended to say that the enemy is very good at what he is doing, not at what he was created to do. All right, we wanted to come back and clear that before we proceed with our teachings. Amen. So this morning, we're going to be focusing on what then is a distraction. Two weeks ago, we looked at the definition of overcome. So what is a distraction? You know, uh, most of the time, I would like us to define a word with a walking definition, right? Uh, not the dictionary definition straight away. But this morning, I want us to look at the dictionary definition of distraction first. And then we will give our walking definition. The dictionary defines uh, um, distraction as a thing that prevents someone from giving full attention to something else. For example, division, interruption, right? Disturbance or interference. So um, distraction can also be defined as extreme agitation of the mind or emotions. Um, what are we saying here? Um, he says synonym, and a synonym for distraction is mental distress, madness, insanity, man, manis. <laughs> Glory to God. Yes, you can. Maybe you're loving like I'm doing, because the definitions are so straight to the point. Now you see, when Daddy said this month is a month to overcome. He said something very strategic. He said, we're going to overcome distractions, especially relational distractions. So what then is our walking definition? The one I want us to use or when distraction comes to mind, what I want you to have in mind is this, that a distraction or distraction is anything, anyone or any situation that is in your way, obstructing you or as an obstruction to the plan and purpose or the direction that you're supposed to be doing or taking in life for a particular season. Now, I'll make it short. Distraction is anything that stands in the way of your purpose, especially the assignment you have for the season because daddy said this month we're going to overcome distraction especially relational distraction we will go ahead and define what a relational distraction is number one a relational distraction is a situation that is standing in your way originating initiated by a family member it could be um in the lives of a woman it could be the husband or in the life of a man it could be your wife it could be your in-laws it could be from the children it could be what relation it could be from your church you could be going through a situation where you're so mad with your church leaders or a church sister that you're forgetting to do the ushering work you've been called to do at church that's a distraction you could be so angry that your wife is not growing spiritually. Your husband is not growing spiritually. You could be so angry that the resources that your wife or your husband ought to be bringing home, they are not bringing those resources. You could be so mad at a child that you have invested in. It could be a biological or spiritual child. 
to the point where you're not focused on the assignment that daddy has for you for the season those are relational distraction you could be so mad that you've been working so hard and your boss will not reward you accordingly to the point where you forget that you're not at that job for money only you could be so mad with a co-worker to the point where you don't even want to go to work all of that could be called relational distractions so i want you to have the understanding of what relational distractions are as we go deeper in the study put it in mind that you will only overcome when you understand what you're going against you will only overcome relational distractions when you understand what they are it is anything that your relationships are putting in your way or you have decided to allow them to put your way to the point where you're not focusing on those challenges instead of focusing on the word of god focusing on prayer focusing on doing what daddy has asked you to do most importantly your assignment for the season now don't forget that he is saying you will overcome them that's why we had to take the time to look at this definition this morning you realize we were very slow so you can get it please go back and listen to this definition again and make sure that you make today a great day amen you need to make it a great day in jesus name Amen and Amen.